Oh man, say a prayer for me. Today is my least favorite day of the week. That is... Lawn mowing day. This morning I'm running quite a bunch of errands. Before, unfortunately, I have to go to a funeral today. Broke a sprinkler yesterday when digging, so I gotta fix that. Luckily, I learned how to fix that from my dad. And actually, you can learn how to fix it too if you go and watch the vlog. It's called Thanks For Your Help, and it's a photo of my dad. It's from like three months ago. And also fix capacitor on our sink it broke, so now it just shoot, it shoots out water like crazy. But slept in a little bit this morning. I was honestly, I went to bed pretty late because I was doing a ton of research for a concert. I was watching other famous musicians and, and, and their concerts and seeing what they do for theirs and like what their stage looks like, uh, a bit of their live performance, how they, they act, interact with the crowd interact with the crowd like a whole bunch of different things but i was really actually looking for, for the stage and seeing what the stages look like um and doing research on that okay well i clamped it so here it is here's my little clamp job let's see if it works well you stay buddy i want you to stay in the bag you stay yeah you stay okay can you stay yeah you stay okay you stay okay hey well i see you you stay buddy you're funny I see you. I see you. Okay, moment of truth. Did we leave? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna get soaked. Looks like I did it. Looking good. Let's double check. Looking good. Any leaks over here? Doesn't look like it. Nice job, Jacob. Nice job. Well, cleaning up dog vomit was not on my agenda for this morning. Bullet. <laughs> Obviously fine. Ah! Jeez, what a day. Oh, I just woke, woke up from a, I don't know, a 10 minute, 15 minute nap. I fell asleep on the couch with Jamie and Bullet. And uh, we just we just got back maybe like an hour ago from the funeral, man. We, we left the house at 9.45 and then we didn't get back until like 4.30. And most of that was the funeral. Um, we didn't leave the funeral until uh, 2.30. 2 30 ish we got to a rep jamie and i went to lunch at 2 30. oh so terrible man so terrible unbelievable unexpectedly uh, boating accident like just an accident like oh man but right now i'm on my way down to the north port village area because so because i was supposed to be in I, actually i don't know if i said this jamie and i were supposed to be in nashville this week we were supposed to leave on wednesday night we didn't go because of this funeral like it, it's a very close friend to Jamie's and we wanted to be there to support so because of the funeral and the wake we didn't go down we didn't go down to Nashville so that being said while we were very excited to go to Nashville part of me was slightly bummed because like it's what's called Cow Harbor weekend here in, in Northport so Cow Harbor weekend is like depends on when you ask me actually cuz like if we're talking when I was in school it was the worst because it was like the first weekend back at school so it was like a reminder that school started but now it's like the bomb because like it's so much it's such a great Nor northport weekend i don't know why they really call it cow harbor because <laughs> i'm sure you could google it and find out i don't really know if somebody wants to google it let me know in the comments but it's like the northport and i like now remind you i grew i born and raised northport 27 years here it's like the town's hoop de doo time like it's the best tomorrow saturday is the 10k run and sunday is the parade so i was bummed because you know i love running and every year for whatever reason i ran it like four years ago maybe four or five years ago i haven't been able to run it since because every single year since then i've been away one year i was several i most of the time we ended up being in florida because i think jamie's brother's birthday is around this time i don't know we just we i always I'm, i keep being away and it's so frustrating because i want to run this run like the, it, it's a big race i think it's five thousand people run it and like people fly in like from different countries to run this race uh it, it's just a fun little thing so one of the blessings about us not going to nashville even though it stinks uh, we we're supposed to meet some friends down there is i can run this run now what's funny about this so registration was closed 
so I wasn't able to register, but my aunt ended up registering. She's not able to run it because she ended up hurting herself running. So <laughs> I emailed them, was like, hey, I explained the whole situation. Can we switch Can I, Can I? we switch the registration? And they were like, unfortunately, can't switch the registration in our new system, but you could just go give her, your, her number to the people and you could run it as her. So it's gonna be funny because I'm actually gonna be running it under my aunt's name. <laughs> I'm running as a 49 year old female. <laughs> you look at all these cars lined up to go pick up the bibs. Look at this. This is so. Oh, oh, no, no, it's not right. Look at all the porta potties. Do you see all the porta potties there for tomorrow? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited that I get to run this. All the people starting walking up there to get their bibs. Look at that. Look at that. All these people. Look at all the people getting their bibs. Yo, this is insanity. There's a thousand people on this line. <laughs> I figured, oh, you know, sign up start at at five o'clock. It's five forty-five. There's not nothing. It's easy peasy. There's easily five hundred to a thousand people on this line right now to get their bibs. It's crazy. That actually went way faster than I anticipated. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs>